Hey, what's up? This is Eric with Graphic Tea Coach. Today I'm going to show you my favorite like non-professional design tool because Photoshop, GIMP, Paint.net, they have a lot of really complex features in them and so they're very, very, uh, th I mean the possibilities are endless, right? But I don't need endless possibilities. I need help because I am not a graphic designer myself, right? And so you've probably heard of, a, of platforms like Canva, for example. And Canva is great, but I like something that's even a little bit more holding my hand, and that is Adobe Spark. So Adobe Spark has been my go-to choice for uh, less complicated designs, you know, I mean, you can use GIMP and things. I mean, you, you've heard me talk about GIMP, but anyway, I really like Adobe Spark. So I'm going to show you today how to use Adobe Spark Post. It's super easy. So you can just Google Adobe Spark and you'll see Adobe Spark Post come up. So go ahead and select that. Now, you, in order to do this, you need to have an Adobe account. An Adobe account is free. You do not have to be paying for anything to use your Adobe account. So I'm going to go ahead and log into mine. And here we are. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you how to make a post. Now, the reason you're going to make a post is because that makes an image. Oh, I guess they've changed it to be called graphics, which is better. So we're going to say we want to make graphics, but we're just going to start from scratch and graphic. Okay, you can use all you can do all sorts of graphic sizes in here if you want to do a Facebook um, cover, a Facebook post, anything like that. I'm just going to go to custom, and I'm going to say that I want it to be 2,200 pixels wide and 3,000 pixels tall, which is 11 by 15, which is the same as uh, the t-shirt dimensions for a t-shirt dang shirt. Go ahead and hit next. I'm not gonna do any photos or anything. I'm just gonna skip that. And then it'll load this page up. Sometimes Spark can be a little bit slow when loading up the pages. This is pretty quick. Now you can see a couple of things right off the bat. First, it decides on some colors for you. You can totally change the colors, but the nice thing is all of the colors match right from the beginning. As long as you stick with the palette, all of the colors match. The other thing you'll notice is it has a little Adobe Spark logo. The nice thing is with these, you can remove the Spark logo from the uh, graphics. You can't remove it from the videos for free, but you can remove it from the graphics. So I think that's great. So let's see here. We're just going to click off that. Now, this is your whole canvas, okay? Now, I like to color this back canvas, sim like basically the color that I'm going to color the shirt, okay? So I'm just going to make it black, and uh, then I'm going to come here to colors, and I'm going to use this, this palette that we have right here, okay? Because these colors, they, they all match. We'll probably end up just using black and white basically but you can drag the text around you can add more text if you want to so first we're just gonna come here and we're gonna say all caps sorry I slapped you and then new okay and then I really like how in this it'll tell you if you're centered and stuff and then you can also justify it differently you can uh, my favorite is capitalize and fit uh, sorry I slapped you and then we're gonna go here to shape I don't like having the back here like this um, so we're we're gonna get rid of hold on uh, gotta get rid of that this box there we go and we are going to take the the shape off of the back of this so that it's just 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 the letters right now obviously this is a terrible color um, so we'll go here to the color and we're going to change it to like this light it's really light gray color and uh, then we'll go to the let's see here the type there we go and I want it to be like a maybe a bold one or something like that let's see here railway could work actually I want to go, there's one that's like color, ah, here we are, cabin sketch. We're going to go with cabin sketch. I like cabin sketch. So we're going to go with that, center it right there. Perfect. I like it. And then we're going to hit add. And let's add an icon. And we're just going to say we want our icon to just be a line. Uh, right there. That's perfect. Um, that line will be just fine. And then we're going to rotate it. I just want it to be a divider, basically. That's that's all I really want. 
Um, I'm gonna make it a, a line and drop it right there. And I'm gonna change the color. Basically, I'm gonna make it the same color as above. And then we're gonna add some more text. And I'll say, uh, but you wouldn't stop talking and I panicked. Perfect, okay. <clears throat> and this one I'm probably gonna pick a different a different uh, font. Yeah, different something I still like something blocky. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna go with that one. Harmon Sands. That's what we're gonna do. By the way, do you know why it's called a sans? The reason it's called a sans is because it doesn't have serifs. And if you don't know what serifs are, serifs are the little like things that stick off the top of letters. Uh, when, even when they or off the bottoms of letters, even when they don't have to, right? So, like for example, these things here, these are serifs, uh, and these things here don't have serifs, right? So there you go. Anyway, sorry I slapped you, but you stop wouldn't stop talking, and I panicked. Okay, and there we go. And so that is pretty much how you can make a design. It's super easy. Now, the other thing, you can now download this and use it as a shape. The other thing, or I mean as an image. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Comment down below if you have any questions. I love Adobe Spark. You can do so much. Bro, bro actually, before, before we go, I'm going to show you one, a couple other cool things you can do. Um, you can go to Add, and you can go to Icon. Um, and so you can use, I recommend using an icon, uh, you know, tastefully, right? So we could say like hand, and if you, if you want to say, you know, sorry I slapped you, then maybe you want to throw in a little, a little hand icon somewhere or something like that, you know? Uh, granted, you know, I just thought of this just now to put the hand on here. So this is, this is a, this is not a good design, but anyway, you know, so you can, you can work a hand in somewhere and you could even like, you know, turn it or something like that. Um, I, I made, I've made a shirt about, um, I speak fluent movie quotes and in that, in that shirt, I used a, a, an icon of a film reel so like I think you can just search film yeah there you go and like film reels come right up and so because I want to say I speak fluent movie quotes on the O I inserted a film reel okay and you can like I said you can change the color you can make it bigger you can make it smaller and you can do anything like that make sure you you don't have to give it a name uh, sorry I slapped you there we go and then that way you can keep track of it you can go ahead and download it if you want to um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything you need to everything you need to know. Yeah, yeah. Here's my example of uh, speaking fluent movie quotes, uh, so that you can. I'll, I'll show you real quick. Again, this is just a really simple design. This is just I speak fluent movie quotes, and then I put a film reel over the O that's there. There, I think there's an O. Maybe there's not. Maybe I just put a couple of spaces there. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. The point is. Uh, these are really easy to make and you can totally do it and get them on shirts and it will expand your design capabilities without being, uh, you know, unwieldy with the large amount of tools that are available. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.